IPA can use the expression pattern in your data set to predict drugs or compounds that might either counteract or potentially enhance the downstream effects that are predicted. Open the Mesoderm Analysis and click the Regulator Effects tab. Now click the Generate Networks button in the toolbar to reconstruct the networks in a different way, with a single drug or compound as the upstream regulator in each network. If you haven't already, you will have to first copy the analysis to your own project to do this. While you're here, uncheck the Cancer category so cancer-related diseases and functions won't appear in the networks. The newly generated networks replace any existing regulator effects networks in the analysis. You can always rerun the algorithm with the default settings to restore them. As you examine the table, notice that each regulator is now a single drug or chemical displayed in either orange or blue colored font. Compounds with orange font in the table are considered increasing which means that the direction of the differentially expressed genes in the dataset are consistent with the known effects of that compound on the genes in your dataset. One way to interpret this is that it is like the numerator or case samples in the dataset had already been exposed to this compound. This may suggest that adding such a compound to your system could synergize with the system to even further promote the effects that are happening in the case samples. Conversely, chemical names in blue font are considered decreasing because the direction of the differentially expressed genes in the dataset are mostly being regulated in the opposite direction expected for the known effects of that compound on the genes in your dataset. It's as if the case samples are experiencing the absence of that compound, so that if you were to add that compound into the system, it might reverse the effects seen in the case samples. In the current experimental setting, we might be interested in discovering compounds that promote differentiation of the mesoderm cells in vitro. One compound of interest is prostaglandin E2, which appears to promote differentiation of mesenchymal cells. Therefore, if you are running this study, it might be useful to add that compound during the differentiation process to increase the yield or quality of the cardiomyocytes. This inference is made more plausible by the existence of a paper entitled Prostaglandin E2 promotes post-infarction cardiomyocyte replenishment by endogenous stem cells, which shows that this compound can indeed act on stem cells to generate cardiomyocytes, and this paper was not used in the creation of this network by IPA.